Passage is one of the busiest sea lanes of the world. Aside from being the center of the center of the world's marine biodiversity, it is also one of the world-class diving destinations. And we will give you more reason why this paradise underneath the sea should be protected. So join our Verde Island Passage Diving Expedition. I am Cindy Maduma and this is The Dive. From the busy streets of Manila, we're going to the relaxing beaches of Puerto Galera. So our first stop will be at Matangas that will take us 3 to 4 hours ride from here. So medyo mahaba-haba rin ang biyahe, kaya matutulog muna ako at magkita-kita po tayo mamaya. For today's dive trip, we are going to the heart of the center of the world's marine biodiversity. And for us to go there, we will be traveling to Puerto Galera, the heart of Asia. Ang Puerto Galera ay isang first-class municipality ng Oriental Mindoro Province. Puerto Galera, which means Port of Galleons. This first-class municipality of Oriental Mindoro is located on the north coast of Mindoro Islands. Ito ay isa sa mga unang Spanish settlements dito sa Pilipinas. Alam niyo ba na as early as 10th century, kilala na ang lugar na ito bilang trade zone noong galleon trade period na dinadayo ng mga Chinese, Indonesian at Malaysian traders. Naging refuge din ito ng mga galleon ships noon mula sa malalakas na bagyo. At bukod sa rich history ng lugar, taglay din ito ang rich marine biodiversity sa ilalim ng splendid beauty of its beaches. Dahil dito, idiniklara itong Man and Biosphere Reserve ng UNESCO mula pa noong 1973. Sikat din ito bilang isa sa mga world's most beautiful natural harbors at binansagan bilang Pearl of Mindoro. So ayan, nandito na tayo ngayon sa Batangas Port, ang ating jump off point papuntang Puerto Galera. Ang sasakyan natin ay fast crab. So maghanda lang tayo ng 250 to 300 pesos na pamasahe at 30 pesos na terminal fee. So halika na, baka maiwan tayo. <laughs> Bili na tayo ng ticket. From Batangas Port, we are now heading to Muele Port, our gateway to the heart of Asia. Nandito po tayo ngayon sa pilot's deck ng Fast Crab at i-interviewin muna natin si Kapitan kung saan tayo dadaong. Kapitan, pakilala po muna kayo. Ako po si Captain Manalo ng Genesis 1. Tayo ipapunta ngayon sa Mulli, Puerto Galera at magpabiyahe tayo sa loob ng isang oras at labing, minang, labing libang minuto. 
Sandali na lang, nakikita ko. Excited na po ako makarating ng ano, Puerto Galera for the second time. So, we have reached Muelia Point here in Puerto Galera at susundin tayo ng ating mga kaibigan mula sa Scandi Divers. From here, we will be having another 15-minute boat ride going to our accommodation dive resort. We are back once again here at Scandi Divers and I am so excited for my diving trip today! <laughs> Big welcome to the UN TV team. Isla Verde or Verde Island is actually part of the Batangas province. However, tourist divers prefer to make Puerto Galera as their jump off to Verde to also experience the diverse diving experience here in the heart of Asia. And our Verde Island diving expedition will be arranged by Scandi Divers Resort one of the high-class dive resorts in Sabang, situated in the relaxing beach of Big La Laguna, with an impressive diving facility, accommodating and professional staff, restful yet cozy rooms, and the tranquilizing beach scenery. This dive resort will give you a taste of a slice of heaven while in a homey stay. And this place will be our entry to Verde Island Passage. Don't switch your channel, mga kasang bahay! Join our exciting underwater escapade in the world's busiest sea lane. Magpabalik ang the dive! Kung sa lupa ay may Amazon rainforest na itinuturing bilang the most biodiverse region ng Earth, ang Coral Triangle naman ang katumbas nito sa ilalim ng dagat na tinaguri ang the Ocean's Amazon Rainforest. Ito ay kinabibilangan ng mga bansang Pilipinas, Indonesia, Malaysia, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands at Timor-Leste. Alam niyo ba na ang Coral Triangle ay 1.5% lamang ng kabuuan ng dagat? Pero dito matatagpuan ang 76% of world's coral reef species. 37% of world's reef fish species. Kaya naman tinawag itong center of the world's marine biodiversity. The Philippine archipelago is indeed a place of paradise dahil dito mismo matatagpuan ang pinakapuso ng center of the world's marine biodiversity. Ang Verde Island Passage Ito ay isang narrow body of water na naghihiwalay sa mga probinsya ng Batangas, Oriental Mindoro, Occidental Mindoro, Marinduque at Romblon na may lawak na 1.14 million hectares. Here are the things you need to know to have a Verde Island Passage dive to remember. Verde Island Passage diving is a must-do day trip. This dive site can be deep as more or less 100 meters or 330 feet, ideal for technical diving. Bukod sa scientific diving, sikat din ang lugar para sa mga fun dives at maliban sa excellent marine environment. Dahil sa good water visibility, we can also get to experience a gripping drift dive here. Kaya ang mga experienced divers na qualified for 30 meters or advanced open water divers ang advisable na mag-dive dito with an experienced dive guide just like DM Rex, our guide to today's diving. The current there is unpredictable. Sometimes you, we have an up and down current. 
So what we need to do is, is stay close to your body, all right, and stay close to the wall. But just in case this current uh, arises, then it's very easy for you to hold into something, all right? You don't want to be caught by an up current or a current pushing you very deep. Guys, ito na magda-dive na kami sa Birdie Island. So ito talaga yung pinaka-aantay ko sa aming mga diving escapade. Ang una naming dive site ay ang Birdie Drop-Off. So it only takes 45 minutes ride from Scandi Divers. At alam nyo ba na almost every year may mga bagong nadi-discover na marine creatures dito sa Birdie Island Passage. Kaya naman mas magiging enjoyable pa ang dive trip natin ngayon. naman sa mahal namin si Ate Marv, ang aming writer. Kasama din natin si Kuya Rex, ang ating dive master for this dive. Just love it in the house! <laughs> Yo! Kasama din natin si Don at si Miko, ang aming mga dive master. And of course, we have here Luke. Say hi! Hi guys! And we have here Kuya Jason, ang ating safety diver. Hi! And now, we have finally reached the Verde drop-off. Time to see the beauty in the middle of the center of the world's marine biodiversity. Guys, ready? ready. I count to three. Ready. When I say go, we're all gonna fall back, okay? Ready? One, two, three, go! Usually, Verde Island drop-off has a mild to strong current condition. So how do we enter the water with a strong current? Dive sites with mild to strong current like Verde Island are recommended to be entered through a negative entry or negative buoyancy descent. It's a way of entering the water as divers normally would, allowing yourself to continuously descend without much effort. You don't have to add more weights to do a negative entry all you have to do is to make sure that all the air is out of your BCD for you not to shoot up back to the surface. Don't forget to equalize. Once you have reached your desired depth, that's the time for you to control your buoyancy and have a neutral one. We expected on the beginning that there might be a current, but when we get there, it was suddenly, you know, it's different from what we expected. There was no current, very good condition, uh, good visibility. Kita mo agad ang napakaraming uri ng marine life dito sa Verde Drop-Off. Sa dive site na ito, makikita ang tila underwater mountain na nababalot ng iba't ibang makukulay na marine creatures. Going down, we saw these antias that makes the reef very, very colorful because of their red color. 2005, nang madiskubre ng isang marine biologist na si Kent Carpenter na ang Verde Island Passage ay may highest concentration ng marine life sa buong mundo. Kaya itinuturing ito bilang center of the center of marine biodiversity. According to studies, 1,736 marine species ang makikita sa 10 square kilometers area nito. At simula 2015, mahigit 100 rare at bagong species ang nadiskubre sa Verde Island Passage matapos ang ginawang expedition ng California Academy of Science tulad ng sea slug, sea urchins, starfish, delicate comb jelly at makukulay na flatworms. Dito rin matatagpuan ang highest concentration ng shore fishes o mga isdang nabubuhay sa hindi gaanong malalim na parte ng dagat. Kaya hindi katakataka kung bakit isa ito sa mga world-class scuba diving destinations. Going a little bit deeper, 
you saw this group of big mouth mackerel together with red tooth triggerfish. We encounter this group of long nosed emperor fish. And when we get around the corner, we saw these sweet leaves, different kinds of snappers. We're really having a great diving experience here in Verde Drop-Off, but not all the time, maganda ang current condition dito. So, make sure to know safety diving practices whenever you experience a drift dive. Pagka may drift dive na sinabi, malakas ang current nun. Kung marunong ka na talaga sa diving, Hindi ito magiging malakid, kundi pwede mo itong sabayan eh. Mas less effort ka mag-swim, you'll just stay close on the wall, enjoy the scenery of the wall. Yung first time na nag-dive ako dito sa Verde Island, I think that was last year. Nag-expect ako na malakas yung Agos kasi last year napakalakas talaga ng Agos eh. Yung visibility talagang malinaw, very calm yung tubig. Nakaramdam lang ako ng konting up current, medyo pataas yung current. Sa isang part lang naman, kaya nag-enjoy talaga ako ngayon. Dito sa Verde Island Passage, karaniwan ang up and down currents. Pero alam nyo ba na malaki ang papel ng current sa kalusugan ng karagatan? Malaki ang impluensya nito sa food web at reproduction ng buong marine ecosystem. Maraming mga marine animals ang umaasa sa agos ng dagat o tinatawag na liquid wind para makakuha ng sapat na pagkain o nutrients. Nakatutulong din ang current sa reproduction ng marine life dahil napapakalat nito ang mga larvae o reproductive cells ng ibang marine species. Captivated by the beauty of Verde Island Passage? Well, kapit lang mga kasangbahay dahil hindi pa riyan nagtatapos ang ating diving adventure for today. Be mesmerized with our unforgettable encounter with the majestic dolphins sa pagbabalik ng The Dive. The Dive Grabe, wala akong masabi. Sobrang speechless ako. Sa sobrang dami ng isda mula sa pinakamalilit hanggang pinakamalalaki. Tapos sa sobrang dami nila, parang hindi ko alam kung saan ako titingin. Kaliwa ka ng punong-puno. Literal na punong-puno. Tapos sobrang ganda ng visibility, ang linaw. Tapos minsan yung isda pa yung lalapit sa'yo na parang ako, napapatulala na lang ako. Generally, March to June ang diving season dito sa Puerto Galera where the visibility is normally better, warmer water, and good current condition. However, as the weather permits, diving in Verde Island Passage is still popular for the tourist divers here in Puerto Galera even in the last quarter of the year. So typically, September through till December is classed as low season in the Philippines, but we normally run uh, two to three trips a week. Uh, and as you guys have seen today, the diving is good. Definitely, we can dive at Verde Island all year round. Okay, so first of all, a big thank you to UNTV for visiting Scandi Divers. If you're interested in diving Verde Island, check out scandidivers.com. Sobrang ganda ng diving trip namin dito sa Verde Island Passage. Unang lubog ko pa lang, sabi ko na, wow! Yun yung literal na pumasok sa utak ko na, wow, wow! Tapos, bawat bawat ikot mo, sobrang ganda. Talagang gusto ko siyang balik-balikan to the point na parang ayoko nang, ayoko nang umahon. Kaya pala ito tinawag na center of the center of the world's richest marine biodiversity. Kasi indeed it is. Kaya malalaman nyo lang yung pagpunta nyo dito. Habang pabalik na kami sa resort, pick lang. Napalibutan na po kami ng mga pod of dolphins. 
kaliwa ang kanan. Hindi ko na alam kung saan ako titigil, pero sobrang blessed ng dive namin ngayon. So kanina, nandun sila sa kaliwa ko, tapos sa kanan, tapos maya maya, nagsasalubong na sila ngayon. Para bang meron silang paligsahan? Nakakatawa, no? Kasi hindi namin ina-expect na makaka-encounter kami ng gantong klaseng pagtitipon-tipon ng mga dolphins. Ayun! Nagpapakitang gilas pa sila. Ayon sa Conservation International Philippines, ang Verde Island Passage ay isa sa mga most productive ecosystems sa buong mundo. Sinasabing mahigit dalawang milyong katao ang umaasa rito bilang source of food at livelihood. Ang passage din ang tinuturing na backbone ng local economy ng mga probinsyang nakapalibot dito dahil sa mayabong na coastal tourism. Kasabay ng economic development growth, ay siya ring paglaki ng epekto ng mga banta sa Verde Island Passage tulad ng illegal and destructive fishing activities, pollution, unsustainable use of land, maging ang irresponsible tourism. Kaya naman mahalaga ang papel ng government sectors, private sectors, community and non-government sectors upang mapangalagaan ito. Be aware. Be informed and be inspired with the endeavors protecting these underwater paradise. As a private sector promoting diving tourism, Scandi Divers makes sure that they can contribute in protecting the marine environment. In terms of underwater behavior, we have uh, quite strict guidelines, especially when it comes to touching, and I do expect my dive masters to approach a guest and ask them to change their behavior. But I have to say that doesn't happen in every uh, dive shop in the area. Para naman kay Mr. Jason Velasquez na matagal ng dive instructor, malaki ang magagawa ng diving community para mapangalagaan ng dagat lalong-lalong na pagdating sa ocean pollution. Marami ng aware ngayon na tungkol sa pag-pollute sa ating mga dagat. Tayong mga diver, pag nakita natin may ano, naiinis tayo dahil alam natin na nakaka-harm ito sa mga sea creatures. Kung anong trash mo, itabi mo lang. Itlagay mo sa isang box and throw it properly. Huwag naman sa dagat dahil ito ay nagbibigay ng buhay sa atin lahat. Para naman kay Ms. Jella Petinas, founder ng Batang VIP, parte ng pangangalaga sa karagatan ang pagpapahalaga ng mga manging isda. We can actually try to strike a balance to protect both the dignity of our seas and fishing communities. And it's just a matter of speaking or talking to each other to communicate what can we do together what's devastating for me is sometimes people think na work at mining is that they can't make sound decisions like we can we keep saying na they need to be educated etc when in fact sila yung may pinaka alam kung gaano kahalaga ng ng dagat kasi doon sila naka-rely eh doon sila nakadepende ang batang VIP means child of Verde Island Passage ay may atikaing mapangalagaan ng karagatan sa pamamagitan ng fisher folks empowerment sa lugar. Batang VIP started back in 2014 when the community of Isla Verde suffered a typhoon. And I wanted to help them out because they weren't part of the list of communities that needed help. 2016 nang muling nasa lanta ang Isla Verde ng Bagyong Nina na sumira naman sa mga kabuhayan ng mga manging isda rito. Muli namang tinulungan ng batang VIP ang mga taga-Isla Verde na makabangon sa pamagitan ng pagbibigay ng mga bagong bangka na magagamit nila sa hanap buhay. Pero sa kapila ng pagiging center of the center of the world's marine biodiversity ng lugar, ay hindi ito nakasasapat sa kinabubuhay ng mga taga-isla Verde. Siguro just so people understand, but kaya ganun? Kasi biodiversity only refers to yung dami ng iba't ibang klaseng uri ng isda at corals. Not necessarily yung mga isda, yung mga resources na makakapagpakain sa mga mga isda natin at mga pamilya nila. Kaya naman naging alternatibong ikinabubuhay ng mga taga-isla verde ang aquarium fishing o panghuhuli ng mga isdang ibinebenta for private or public aquariums. Pero maliit lamang ang kinikita nila dito at plano ng city government unit ng Batangas na ipagbawal ang aquarium fishing sa taong 2020. 
according to Ms. Jella, providing fisher folks with sustainable programs will be the best help they could give to the fisher folks of VIP. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a project we did together in collaboration with the community na will help them for the long term? Nag brainstorm kami ng community. Ang suggestion nila is livelihood. They got excited with the idea of having ecotourism operations sa area nila kasi proud sila na maganda yung san sila nakatera. Magaling sila sa tubig kasi ano sila eh, mga maninisid. So sabi nila, tingin nila kaya nila and willing sila na mag-undergo ng training for ecotourism. So doon kami nagsimula. Batang VIP together with the reef nomads trained the fisher folks to be certified free divers and reef guides. We want to work with what they can already do. We just need to elevate it. Maruno na sila sumisid. You just need to train them with the proper safety protocols to certify them. We want this initiative to empower the fishing community. Kaya siya tinatawag na batang VIP. To make these people feel like very important people because they are. Ang ganda ng Verde Island Passage ay talaga nga namang nagpapatunay kung gaano kalaki ang global importance nito. Isang bagay na tunay na maipagmamalaki ng ating bansa na dapat nating ingatan at pangalagaan. Until our next underwater adventure with your only diving buddy, the dive! Creation that makes us believe. See you at the dying.